Good morning everyone! Yes, welcome to a new video here on Let's Walk Around Stockholm. Another day, another walk, you know it. And as you probably can see, we are back in your favorite city, Stockholm, in the area of Norrmalm. And um, to be precise, on Drottninggatan. Yes, Queen Street, the main shopping street here in Stockholm. And I was walking here, going to a different walk, and I was like... Actually, I'm a little bit hungry, and I wanted to go into the supermarket. Um, and I was like, yeah, let's let's bring the subscribers along. So, let's go to Ham Shop. I have to buy a few things, so you can see how this supermarket looks like. Um, which is located right under T-Centralen. Um, so yeah, so let's take down the excavator, um, escalator, never know the difference. Anyway, let's go down and um, let's check it out what they got. Maybe I'll buy some kind of bread or some bread roll or something. I don't know what I feel like, but I did have uh, breakfast in the morning, which is by the way, frukost in Swedish, frukost. I did have it, but um, I'm hungry again. Kind of story of my life, always hungry. But yeah, if you walk a lot, you get hungry. And what do I see here, people? I cannot believe it. They're opening another Max. <laughs> All right, I've been talking too much about Max. It's just the hamburger chain. So forget about that. Let's go to the supermarket. If I can find it, because I think I have to go down, 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 down here. And they're playing some copyright music. I don't really like that. Okay, let's go down here. The pharmacy, the pharmacy. Oh, here's the supermarket. So it's called Hem Shep, which basic means home. Hem means home, and Shep means buy. So, you know, a store to buy things. <laughs> home. Well, that was a funny translation, but you get my point. Alrighty, let's go in. So, what do we got here? The bread section. Ooh, hungry, hungry, hungry. Ooh. Like a cheese bread roll. And the food stuff here, baguettes, donuts. <laughs> hey. Well. So this, you know, in Swedish is called a limpa. Basically it means loaf, loaf of bread, a limpa. Ooh. Tomato and basil bread. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, this is good too, Levan. A lot of the bread here in Sweden is like sourdough, sudeg, we call it. Um, here you got your, you know, Canel Bullard, cinnamon, Wiener bread, Knut. Oh, that's good too. Knut, Knut. Croissants. Oh, check out these ones. Cannoli Napolitani. It's like basically Nutella in a little roll. That, lo that looks good. Hmm. It's hard to decide what to get actually. Oh, they're actually making it here. They got their own like bakery. Cool. So it's all freshly made. Bull. Brish. Brioche. Oh, oh, oh. Getting hungry. Got the here. Cookies. Ooh. Chocolate chip cookies. Cantuccini. Cockworth. Kex. Some people in Sweden say Shex. No, Kex. Shex sounds horrible. Here we got the more simple bread. We got here. Oh, it's like ready to go meals. Pasto pesto with chicken, pie, salads, sandwiches. Ooh, maybe I should get one of these. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Check this out. This looks nice. Some salad on it. Oh yeah, this is what I'm getting. This looks good, people. 
All right, so maybe I should get something to drink as well. What do we got here? Some flowers. Well, that's nice to actually have a little sushi section inside the supermarket. That's cool. <laughs> something to drink. What's this? <laughs> Puka. Puka. It's like a chocolate milk. But yeah, no. It's too early for chocolate. <laughs> too early for chocolate milk, people. Ooh, strawberries. Strawberries. Nice, nice, nice. I'm getting so distracted by everything I see. Mooms, mooms, mooms. Tasty, tasty, tasty. Okay, I need something to drink. Drink, 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 drink. Let's go here. Maybe got some fresh fruit. Melon? That's a funny looking melon. Check that out. I mean, melon, sure. Sure, like that. But this? Matisse melon. Funny, that I've never had before. A Matisse melon. So question to the chat gang. Have you ever eaten a Matisse melon? I haven't. How does it taste? We've got the pasta section. All right, I'm not sure if I want to do a full, full walkthrough to the supermarket because there's too much to see. It's quite big, actually. So I got the sandwich. Let's get something to drink. I don't know where the like cool drink section is, but. I'm not gonna get a soda. I don't do sodas. Like I don't really like. Um, um, well, besides the fact that there's too much sugar in it and not so good for your health. Just in general, I'm not a. I'm not a Coke Fanta kind of guy. I prefer more like. Uh, I don't know. Something more. Fresh and healthy. So, ooh, the G section. Always gotta stop at the G section. Vesterbotten Oost. So this is like Sweden's most uh, famous cheese. Vesterbotten Oost. Oost means cheese and then crumbles. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Marmalade. Oh, they got good stuff here, people. I don't know if they have any Dutch cheese. Oh, this is meat. Not my thing. So yeah, this is a very typical Swedish thing as well. A lot of people do this for lunch. So you take your own box here. And then just fill it. You know, with salads, it's all freshly made. So good, so good. And then sometimes they have it on the other side too. Yeah, they have. Let's check around here. See, they got meatballs and all kind of stuff. Some fish, salmon. Nice. Okay, I am actually looking for juice. What's this? Energy drinks. Let's have a look over here. Mm, no. Iced tea. Oh, they're stocking here. Let's go here. I need to keep on talking because they're literally playing music everywhere in the store. Mm, where is the juice? Where is the juice? Okay, 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 okay. This is more like it, folks. Let's get a smoothie, maybe. Maybe something smaller. I don't know. What shall I get? What shall I get? Oh, no. Now I know what I'm going to get. I'm going to get this. Wait, wait, wait. Let me take it. I'm going to get a strawberry. You'd goop. Yalla. This is like drinking yogurt. Oh, this is what I love, people. All right, so got it now. Something to drink, something to eat. And I'll just have to find my way over to the casa, as we call it here in Sweden. So let's try to keep the camera a bit low, so I actually don't. Um, so maybe I can try to actually um, go and pay. All right, cool. This is this way. Let me get my wallet. So this is going to be a bit funny. I don't think I've ever started to pay while I'm filming. So I don't know if there's actually any staff here. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is a staff. Hey, hey. So.
Tack så mycket. All right. All right, that was smooth. Paid for my stuff. Let's make our way up. If I get out of here somewhere, I'm not really sure. It's a bit hard to, to keep, to hold everything and walk outside. So here we got the System Bolaget, which is basically the alcohol store, the governmentally owned um, alcohol store in Sweden. Oh, let's go up the right escalator. Alrighty. There was a little breakfast number two buying. You know what, this video is still a little bit short, so let me just walk to her tour yet. It's very close here, so let's go there. I might actually meet up with one of my subscribers later on today. Um, I got contacted by this guy called Charles, who wanted to meet up, who's in Stockholm, so... Yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's make my way out. Let me check on my phone if he actually called or whatever. No, not yet. So we're good. So now we are arriving at Sego Story here, the main square in Stockholm. You've seen it probably in about 10 of my other videos already, so... Alrighty! Oh, some fresh air! I was a little bit afraid it was actually raining, but it's not. So we got the city theater here. The good old fountain. And let's walk to her toilet where I will have some food. Just gonna sit down and chill. So we're back at Drottninggatan. And I see I have the green light. Let me try to make that. Not really any traffic here, so... All right, so... I basically went in there, went down, went to the supermarket, went over there, and then went back up. So I kind of made a circle. So this is really the time where um, quite a few people contact me that want to meet up like in the recent weeks I've literally had about 10 people contacting me like Daniel can we meet up can we meet up um, so don't take this personal but it's been, it's been a bit much like I, I do love meeting people so keep writing me please do send me an email if you're in Stockholm but you know if I would meet everyone and have Fika with them and meet them, it, it will be like a daytime job. So if I haven't replied to you yet, um, I'm, I'm really sorry. So don't, don't please don't take it personal. Um, I really want to meet everyone, but it's, it's a little tricky at the moment. Simply because of a lack of time. Because I have a, you know, I have a job to do as well besides uh, my walking channel on YouTube, this is not my full-time job. Although it sometimes feels like it. So we are on Drottninggatan and we are just gonna walk to Hötorjet to round up the video. Yeah, it wasn't the full supermarket uh, tour. Um, I can do another because there's a ham shop um, quite close to where I live as well, like a, a really big one. I can do a full walkthrough, like a full supermarket too there in the future. Because I've already done a few supermarkets, but I try to do a different one every time. So yeah, all good. I just want to bring you guys along wherever I go, you know what I mean? Like, it's fun, I think.
Oh, but this um, this yoga drink is so nice. Yalla, 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 as they say in Arabic. Let's go, basically means. Nugorvi in Swedish. Still nice and uh, relaxed here in Drottninggatan, relatively for summer. Because if you come here in two, three hours, now the tourist season has started, it's going to be packed with people. Because now midsummer is coming up, so a lot of people booking for midsummer here. So, now we arrived here at the Haymarket, aka Hertoyet, which is now used mainly as a fruit and vegetable market on weekdays. And in the weekend, there is a Loppis, as we call it in Swedish, which is a flea market, which I've done a video on, which has done really well, has like 40,000 views. So, go and check it out. Alrighty. We're here. So, uh, it was Holland. Great food market to get some cheese or meat. Cinema. Best cinema in Stockholm, I would say. The concert hall, if you want to go to classical music. The market. Behind there, you have Kung's Holland, which is another food court. It's not really a food market, but it's a food court where you can get some food. They have some good Indian food down there. Here we've got Haymarket, which is the department store. And then they also sell some other stuff. So yeah, lots of stuff to do here. I would say if you want to explore Stockholm city, I think this is a good starting point. So go and do it. Right next to uh, Central Station or Hertuyet Metro Station. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up. Please leave a thumbs up and a comment in the, in the YouTube section. And um, I'll see you all tomorrow on a new adventure. Bye-bye.